Ah, uh, yes, we're looking good. Uh, well, I guess we're not the lens caps on, but I really wanted to make a quick video because I get a lot of questions about this and I see them all the time uh, posted everywhere. How do you attach a 7200 lens, uh, the big lenses, to your rapid strap and your camera? You know, it's a really big issue and you could really damage your camera, your lens, and yeah, you don't want that to happen. Here's a quick tip and here's how I do it and the majority of photographers do it. So I'm gonna show you that there is a right way and a wrong way to attach a 70 to 200 lens to your DSLR. Now I'm a wedding photographer, and once again, this is getting into camera straps. Um, shoulder straps are very, very comfortable. They take the pressure off your neck rather than the regular neck strap that you get. And yeah, so it's just something a lot of people have. I'm not gonna get into specific brands because it's not about that. It's just how to attach this lens. All right, so as you see, this is how I currently have attached. I'll get to that in a second. But really what I wanted to cover is there is mainly two attachment points that you can have uh, to your camera. Mainly it's at the bottom through the tripod socket, uh, which a lot of people might know it as. And don't worry about what I have on here, but this will actually screw into this. But you could choose to um, put in your rapid strap here. I'll do it right now or whatever, whatever strap you're using. Yes, if you're curious, I'm using a black rapid RF7. Uh, you could choose to put that um, at the bottom. Now, if I were to do that and I'll just start it a little bit. Okay, so now that's good, that's on. But the problem is you, you gotta think of this as using kind of a counterbalance somewhere that's kind of midway because you're gonna put pressure on the bottom of your camera. So while that's pulling and that's down by your side, your lens, this 7200 and a lot of the ones out there are very, very heavy. You risk actually snapping off the mount of your camera. So it can literally just snap here, break your mount, and you are out a lot of money. Plus, this is going to fall if you don't have this. You know, if this falls uh, badly, <laughs> it's a ton of money as well. So the main thing I am stressing is that you got to be very careful. And I do not recommend doing it this way because there is no counterbalance. It does not equal out. And that's just how it is. This is how you normally would do it. So I'll unscrew this. Okay, so that's unscrewed. But as you see, I leave the uh, the collar on here because it's easier for me. And a lot of people say, well, it might feel a little awkward. Well, it kind of does, but you are fully protected when you're using this. And I can have this down by my side and I, and I don't really care. I would have showed you what it looked like, but once again, I didn't want to risk breaking my mount because of the weight of this lens. So what would I do? I would just take the bottom of my camera strap and I would put it into one of these. And it's really kind of preference at that point because one might feel better, but I personally prefer it in the back um, in the back bracket. So I'll put that in, I'll screw that in there. And boom, and we're done, and we're back to square one. So that's how I do it. So it is something like this, so, so watch here. I'll, I'll step back a little bit. So I have that at my side, I feel comfortable with it. I bring it up, oh, you know, that looks great, that looks great, don't mind the lens cap, because I know, oh, oh, you need to go to a vertical? Okay, perfect, boom. And I have perfect versatility to do so. Now one also thing you could do is a lot of these have, um, uh, moving mounts so you can let it loose free so you can be oh great 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 perfect 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 and you know you can kind of go that way so it's something here i'll turn i'll do a side view so something more like this like oh that looks great fantastic oh let me grab that hold that hold that something like that uh you can use perfectly and it really does not get in your way so as i said i fully trust this like this if this was on here i would never hold my camera like this because i would just be totally afraid and that's not how i want to be so that's it. That's my quick tip on uh, using a 7200, your larger lenses, as you're putting them on your side, maybe even up here. Uh, attach them kind of at the midway point. It just makes sense in regards to weight, counterbalancing, and it holds everything well, especially when the, the lens is heavier than the body itself. That's all I got. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Eric Ross is the guy with the eye. This is a great way to do it, and probably you should prefer that.